Hey there, this is Scott. All right, we're back out at our new property that we bought, our hopeful homestead in the near future here. So uh, gonna give you a walk around, kinda see what we got going on here. Uh, we've, got, we've actually been out here a couple of days cleaning stuff up, so it's in a little bit better shape than when we started, but still lots of work to do. So let's go on a quick walk and I'll uh, show you what we got going on. All right, so let's see here. If we start off to the left here, we've got the main house. Uh, that's about 1,200 square feet. It was a single wide trailer, I believe. It's got a little addition onto the side of it. So uh, we're kind of at the back south western corner of the property right now. It runs, property line runs along this tree line right here that you see to the right. And it goes back to where the, the forest starts to get really thick back there is kind of where it ends at. So we've got the main house right there. And we've kind of got this garage slash tool shed. A workshop, I guess we'll call it a workshop. Uh, it's tough to be a garage because the entrance there is just over six feet tall. So you gotta have a pretty low lying car to go in there. Maybe the uh, small farm tractors and stuff like that can go in there. Um, it's about 19 feet wide, about 45 feet long. I think I took a measurement on there. You might see the, got a couple of the boys along with us. They're back there getting ready to start up a little fire and burn some sticks that we've got laying around. All right, continuing on to the left here, we've got what used to be a store. So I believe this used to be a general store back in the day. Um, since then, it's kind of had a couple of other iterations. I think the latest set of folks that were living out here, there was a, a father and mother and their son and kind of middle-aged son so they were one of them I think the son was living in the the store and the rest of the family was living in the other house out there there is back between these two you can barely see it there's another house that was the original house that was on the property uh, that one's got some issues to it we'll get on over there it's got like a hole in the side of it uh, it, it needs some work, so we'll probably be doing some cleaning out of that. Maybe I'll film that later today. Uh, we've been filling stuff up in the dumpster. There's been lots of uh, tires and car parts, and uh, it looked like somebody cleaned out their freezer and just dumped all the stuff on the land. So we've been cleaning a lot of that stuff out today, just trying to take care of things. So we'll go for a little walk here, head towards the back of the property. And we had some rain here, uh, yes, no, night before yesterday. Got a pretty good dump of rain out here. Uh, most of that happened overnight. There was a little bit during the day. And so it's mushy in spots. A couple little pools in places, but not too bad. And then it's been cold at night, so we're mid-March. And we were getting down, like tonight, that are predicting mid-20s, but it's been right around freezing most of the nights here. All right, so I'm going to spin you around here. There's a little creek here. It's uh, sitting, that runs kind of diagonally across the property. You might see the boys over there making a fire. There's the back of the house. Come back around. We've got lots of downed trees and things that are going to need some cleanup. We did meet the neighbors yesterday that live to the south of us here. Uh, pretty nice guy. He says he's uh, lived here his whole life. So that's kind of cool. Hopefully we get some good information from him and just kind of what's going on in the area. We're told it's really good deer hunting in this area. Uh, haven't done deer hunting in the past, but very interested in taking that on in the future here as part of uh, you know 
trying to be a little bit better about sustaining ourselves and all of this. That's that's part of why we're on this adventure here is to, you know, be able to take care of ourselves a little bit better, put us in a spot where, you know, if things get crazy, then 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 we're all right. Plus, I'm just the kind of guy that likes to to do stuff, to make stuff, and see what I can make happen. So. We'll see if we can go further along that track. So here on the back, this would be the southeastern corner of the property. And we got a lot of downed wood out here. Well, not a lot, we got some. We got some cleanup to do out here. You know, stuff that's not important, but would be, would be nice to do. Uh, plus we can chop it up and make it into firewood and stuff. So we're, we're pretty close to the uh, Mark Twain National Forest. So there's a lot of wildlife around here. Lots of folks probably out camping and stuff. Haven't seen a whole lot of traffic on the road thus far. We'll see how that shapes up as the days go on. Now back in this corner of the property up here, we did a lot of cleanup and you may be able to see some of the trash piles and stuff that are out here. We got saw a lot of it in the dumpster out there. We took care of a decent amount of it, but there's still a decent amount still sitting around. Could use some cleaning, so work in progress. Now, interestingly, We've got uh, a lot of space back here in the corner. We kind of got to figure out what to do with this. There's this big pile of cinder blocks back here also, which is nice. Give us something to work with. A couple of little pieces of tin sitting out in other areas. All sorts of... Uh, fun things to work with going forward. So kind of back in this corner, we're getting back towards the, what would that be? That would be the northeastern corner of the property. And you're paying back around here. And one of the things that we've got, and this needs a lot of work, is our barn that's over here. It's going to need, uh, we'll go look at that in a second here. It's going to need a lot of work. So. But it's really nice. It's a big barn. It's got lots of space to it. So should be able to make something out of it in the future. It uh, looked like originally, I think there was some heat in there. Because there's a, a cutout for a stove pipe and chimney. And then also... What's back in there is it looks like there were a bunch of hog pins back in there. But uh, we'll need to take a take a look at that and see what we can do there. The wood on the outside's in pretty rough shape. It looks like they did some work so they could potentially move cars in there, maybe, is what I'm guessing. And when they did did that, whoever did that took out some of the structural support and that's creating a little bit of a problem so there's there's some work to be done there to reinforce what's going on so i was told they had a cow or two back here in this pen not too long ago so we should be able to support at least oh we'll have to figure out how many cows we can get we need to spend some time get established and spend some time out here before we get there but we have a nice little pre-fenced in area to work with which I think will come in handy in the future here all right so you take a look at the barn there barns definitely got some work that needs to be done to it this back side here kind of tearing off a little bit need to shore that up they used a lot of this whatever is asphalt kind of covering on the sides there we'll need to clean that up also it's deteriorating in a lot of places boy is still out there getting ready to burn off some of these sticks and stuff so there you can see the other house and I was talking about the other house having 
a little bit of a problem. So we got our uh, a little bit of a problem. It's kind of front and center in the house there. I'm panning over to the barn, but you can see in the house right there, we've got the hole in the wall. So that house hasn't been inhabited for a long time. It's been kind of used for storage. So we need to fix up the hole in the wall there. And then not sure whether we end up tearing that down and putting something new in there or whether we try to patch it up. It's got a lot of issues on the inside. So I think it may be a, a tear down type project rather than a, a fixer upper type project. They also have over to the left there, there's a little chicken coop, which is awesome. It's nice to have one of those kind of preset on the property and ready to go. So see if we can make use of that once the time comes. And we'll keep moving back up towards the this would be the northwest side of the property. Let me take a swing back around to the barn over here. And let's see if I can pan you around, get you past the tree. Come back to our barn that's over here. So you can see some of the asphalt's falling off the sides there. There's some stuff to work with, so bonus lumber. I'm not too uh, upset about a bunch of old 2x4s or 2x6s, a little bit of 4x4 laying around. That's that's material I can work with potentially, so uh, that, that works for me. Now there is, I think one of the folks that was out here was doing car repair, and there's a bunch of trash in the barn. A lot of old eaten up hoses and things, so we've moved a lot of it out there, but there's a lot of it still sitting in there. Need to clean it up. Uh, Started yesterday, did a little bit of work. You can see this side of the barn here sagging. It's not supported very well. They cut out a lot of the structural support in here. So trying to, to shore that up some. I added, you can see where I sistered a bunch of two by sixes together and got it underneath there. Really need to get out here with a jack and kind of lift it. Uh, there's one of our supports like right here in the middle is is cracking so i need to lift the roof a little bit and then get some timber in there to reinforce that back up so some work on the barn to be done the far wall also looks like uh, it was probably hit with something and pushed off of the concrete because it's in pretty good shape it just looks like everything that's uh was previously sitting on the concrete got lifted i don't know what you call it the sill got lifted and pushed off and is now off the concrete in front of it so i think maybe if i get a jack out here and can lift it a little bit and then swing it back on maybe that'll solve it for me don't know if i want to drive anything through there into the concrete uh to help keep it in place for the future not exactly sure we'll have to take a look at that all right so we're Moving over towards the northwestern side of the property. Um, got a little creek here. So you can see there's a little culvert that runs underneath here. And that's kind of the creek that cuts diag diagonally across the property. We need to see what we want to do. My wife's kind of interested in doing something with, with this northwestern corner of the property. Um, it's actually kind of a nice section out here, uh, and something could be done with it, and it's fairly level, so we could get maybe a building here before the barn, possibly. I don't know, we'll have to take a look and figure out what it is that we want to do here. So we've got a... Uh, the well is right ahead of us here. That small building right ahead of us. And you can see all the other buildings out there. There you can see mom and the boys looking at the old house out there. They're, they're trying to find treasures. We, we found a couple of things. Well, when I say treasures, that's like coffee cups we could use. So like treasures is very figurative in that word there. There's a couple of interesting things that we pulled out of there. One of the boys pulled out a bunch of uh, popular science magazines from the late 90s and early 2000s and he's kind of excited about that. There's a few National Geographics too. He's he's put all of those into a tub and he wants to take a moment to take a look at them. So 
Uh, when I say treasures, that's a very figurative uh, take on the word treasure right there. Right, I gotta jump across the creek here. And you can see, let's see if I can get down to the creek here. Yeah, you can see the creek runs through here. Uh, we had that storm a couple days ago, so there's a pretty good truck of water going through here. I'll be interested to see over time how much water that actually puts out. So, all right. So back here, again, we're over towards the northwestern side of the property. Walking past our well. And you can see what was the old store up there in the old house. And that work that needs to be done on that house is uh, something else there. So I don't think it'd be too tough. I'm hoping to get something over that today. Uh, get it kind of help keep critters out of there. I don't think I'm going to make it be able to make it critter proof, but I can make it so that the critters don't roll through. So right now we're walking right up near the road. So you may hear some road noise, but that was kind of one of the things with this uh, shop here was that it was right up by the road. So wife's thinking about in the future she'd like to kind of get the store thing going back on again i think we're quite a way ways from that but uh would be a it's a nice thing to think about doing and figure out what we do with that house so if we can get the store going again not like we're going to be a massive store and have tons of stuff but we should be able to have a few things you know carry some necessities carry some uh milk and maybe, maybe some bread and like and then if people are making stuff local ideally we can you know have what they're making locally out here too so uh, we'll, we'll have to see how that all plays out so and there's our big dumpster full of stuff that we're filling up there yeehaw so it's been ours for about what three days now uh, seems to be going pretty well thus far uh, we were kind of we were worried it was gonna be a little, little bit worse condition we're actually kind of happy with how things are so far but uh, stuff still does need some work out here and you know we'll need to come back out and do as much as we can in the in the near future here so there we go that's our that's our quick rock around of the property um, get to clean in maybe do some time-lapse uh, hauling stuff out of the house because we're we're trying to we got this dumpster and while we got it here we want to fill it up so the goal is to get her done we'll see so i think that's going to be it for now uh be sure to subscribe and catch all the new things that we're doing uh looking forward to your comments you know telling us ideas about what we can do or how to do things better with what we got out here but really excited to start off on this new adventure thanks for watching